Yes, that is a floating teapot. Hey, and welcome to the City Spotlight episode two. My name is Calvin, I'm a local realtor, and this series was created to help you choose the best city when moving to the San Gabriel Valley. And today we have... Temple City. And to start our tour, we're at Temple City City Hall. TC is actually located in the Western San Gabriel Valley. It's about 15 to 20 minutes from downtown LA, like a lot of San Gabriel Valley cities. The city was founded in 1923 and is often correlated with the Camellia Flower. Welcome to Temple City Park. Behind me, you see the Performing Arts Pavilion. Right now, it's closed due to COVID, but when this thing opens up, believe me when I say it is lively out here. It's Temple City's iconic summer concert in the park. They've been doing it for 20 plus years, but picture this, live music. Jazz, rock, whatever you can name, food trucks on the side, and all the families with their, back, with their blankets and picnics just enjoying it on a summer day. You know, oftentimes what you'll see in the holidays and special events such as Chinese New Year and Christmas is that Temple City actually closes off the section on Las Tunas from Golden West to Cloverleaf for parades, um, festivities, and all such, all sorts of things. <laughs> Here in Temple City Park, we're also right next to the Temple City City Hall in case you need to do any permit stuff or run anything by the city. There's also a community center here. So yeah, this is the heart of TC. We are at La Rosa Elementary School, one of the elementary schools here in Temple City. And this place actually has a special place in my heart because I went here from grades one to four. <laughs> so it's a trip down memory lane. But the schools, the schools are actually a main attraction why a lot of people come to Temple City, specifically Temple City High School. According to greatschools.org, they're ranked nine out of 10 and they're ranked within uh, the top 150 schools according to US News. So if you're looking to plant a seed for your young kids, Temple City might be a great place to look into. Welcome to Camellia Square, or as you guys probably know it, that floating teapot plaza that we saw earlier in this video. This is one of Temple City's newer plazas. It was built in 2015. It's new, it's hot, and a lot of things happen here. We have flagship restaurants from Kangondong Baekjong to The Dive to Bistro Na. We even have local favorites such as summer rolls to grab a beer and amazing Vietnamese food. But be wary, Friday night, if you guys do come, a parking can be rough. They did just add an underground plaza, but I mean, you might be circling Rosemead and Las Tunas for quite a while. <laughs> so let's talk real estate in Temple City. What you're looking at is mostly single family homes. I mean, this city is built with 85% single families. You're not gonna see a lot of condos and townhomes here. Um, and these single family homes are either mid-century, so in the, built in the 1940s to 1960s, or they're a brand new plan unit development built in the 2000s till now. Also, the appreciation in Temple City has been crazy the past five years. We appreciated 25% over five years. That's a quarter of your value. So Calvin, what about price in Temple City? Well, for single family properties, if you're looking for a two bed, you're running just about 790,000. And a three bed, just over 900,000. For condos and townhomes, you're looking at 565 for a two bed, and just about 800,000 for a three bed. With that being said, let's take a look at this four bed, three bath, 1900 square feet property listed at 899. Thank you. 
We're now at Live Oak Park, park number two in Temple City. Temple City Park, the one we saw earlier, is mostly for family festivities. Live Oak Park has a huge field, a nice walking hoop, some basketball hoops here. It's more for the fitness, conditioning, and for you to get your exercise in. Thank you so much for joining me on episode two of the City Spotlight. I hope this video has really gave you a sense of what Temple City has to offer and if it is the right city for you. If you ever have any real estate needs or questions in the local Los Angeles, greater Los Angeles area, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to help you out. I love the opportunity to help you out. You stay safe and I will see you on the next one.